Hey Nail Techs, it's Jill Wright from NailTechEvent.com coming to you again from my salon with a piece of business advice. This is how I roll. I carry my business cards everywhere I go and I know some of the younger people, they do not do anything paper, but um, be prepared because, uh, let's example, Last year, no, two years ago, I bought a birdhouse off of Facebook Marketplace. I went to meet the lady. She asked me what I did. We were making small talk. I told her what I did. She said, oh, my son's having problems with his feet. Can you look at them? Yeah, sure. You know, son comes out, big heavy dude. He's got deep, deep, deep fissures and it's, he's a big heavy dude and it's causing more problems because he can't reach his feet. And so I'm like, oh yeah, this is why it's happening. This is what it's called. Here's how you treat it. And she was so impressed. She hooked me up with him as a client. He's been coming to me every month for two years off of a $10 birdhouse that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. I gave her my business card and she texted, made an appointment. So anyway, nail techs, have something in place with you at all times so that way you can let the other person know what, what it is you do and they'll remember you because you can tell them, hey, I'm a nail tech, I do X, Y, and Z, but uh, yeah, hit me up on uh, IG or whatever. Half the time they're not gonna remember your Instagram handle, they're not gonna remember your name, they're not gonna remember like where on Facebook to look you up or anything or your website. Give them something to remember you about, business card. And on the front of it, all you have to do is, like Vistaprint, upload a really dope photo of what it is you do. I do feet. I, mine have feet on them. So it, it's a specific photo, you know, it's a great photo. It's memorable because it's not the generic download the template and you got the cartoon hands and somebody sitting at a nail table. It's none of that BS that all the other nail techs have. It is specific to me. So make yourself stand out by designing specific business cards for you. Anyway, that is a business tip that I've learned over 35 years of doing nails and it works. So imagine two years worth of pedicures every month over a $10 birdhouse on Facebook Marketplace. Carry those business cards with you wherever you roll and give them out everywhere, everywhere. You don't wanna hold on to those things. And the worst thing I know is when I go to shows and I ask people for their business cards because I'm talking and I'm meeting so many people. When I ask them for their business cards and oh, I don't have mine, I ran out. I'm like, girl, did you just wake up today this morning and decide to come to this nail show? Or did you not know you were coming to this nail show months in advance and you just neglected to prepare? So that tells me, you know, right there is like, um, you know, I don't say that to them. Well, sometimes I do, <laughs> but anyway, it's a good business tip, but it, it, it weeds out the ones like who aren't prepared for the ones who are prepared like me to swoop in and take clients. Anyway, that's my advice to y'all. Take it or leave it. Peace out, nail techs.